Hey guys, what's up? Waterfish here, and welcome back to my fourth episode. So, I've done some googling in between these two episodes to figure out how to upgrade the sea truck, and apparently, I have completely forgotten about the mobile vehicle bay. It wasn't obvious to me that there I could craft uh, additional modules for my sea truck so that's exactly what I'm going to do now I'm gonna pack it up and bring it over to my primary base so hopefully we'll get some cargo modules onto this sea truck and gather some more stuff yeah need some more lithium more computer chips more labs or more resources from the squid shark cave Welcome aboard, Captain. and that was right the squid shark cave, cave really is the uh, below zero equivalent for the jelly shroom cave squid shark has the exact same attack mechanic as the crab snake does so apparently I figured that out correctly let's deposit this iron cubes this gold let's see how many silver I got before I venture down there yet again okay I don't need that much silver Let's see about the lithium. Yeah, I got some. Can finally spend most of this ingots that I've stockpiled. Yeah, but I need at least one more lithium to make another steel ingot. Okay, that's exactly what we're gonna get next let's drink some get some more fresh peepers easy to get stuck in this game apparently I almost got stuck to the point of no recovery back in that alien uh, the alien containment facility also let's plant eight of these here for now We'll see what else we can get. I mean, I won't plant the kelp because the kelp is right there, so... We'll see what else non-decorative can be obtained, which can be of some use. Uh, okay. I have too many wasted batteries already. I only have one more. For the trip, I think that's gonna be enough. So, more lithium, a bit more diamond, more corals, and a bit more silver. I'm not even gonna, yeah, lead, lead, so lead, silver. I 
And I'm gonna even bring the sea truck down here because it's completely useless in that cave. At least without the cargo, there's no point in bringing it down. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring at least two more of these. Chips are always a good thing to have around. Where's my okay? So somewhere here there is a oh there it is. The entrance to this squid shark cave. Forgive me if I don't know the correct naming. For these biomes, a few more diamonds won't hurt. The lithium is all the way down, yes. here apparently Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen and remaining. I need the oxygen. Warning, 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. to enter down here which is quite impressive who 
Hopefully it will get stuck there for the time being. It's that one that I couldn't find the first time and I'm not gonna waste any more time here. We'll find some other Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. At least the squid sharks. At least the squid sharks have different sound mechanic when they're doing their attack runs, so can anticipate them. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Another combo attack. So there are two of them at least in this game. That's enough for now. I can grab more corals. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Not enough lead though. Find more lead at this depth. And more salt. Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. And more gold. And lots of more gold. Which is never a bad thing. Okay, so it's the crash fish. The old threats Warning. thirty seconds of oxygen remaining are not as dangerous. But these new ones I haven't yet got a good grip on. Okay, so there's the entrance to the base. Oxygen. More oxygen. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, yeah. I know. Now, where are we?
time to improve the sea truck and equip it for long distance runs. Oxygen. Okay, so now let's unload this. I haven't gathered enough copper. At least they have enough for one computer chip. Eaten all the peepers, haven't I? Yes, I have. Okay, so I mean, let's see what do I need. So that's what I forgot. Okay. Hopefully, I do not have to venture too deep to get those. it is not nearly enough though
Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. seconds of oxygen remaining. Always look up. Oxygen. Should be enough light for now. And enough copper, I hope. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. That one interacted with me, and some of you guys said that they can bring the stuff that you need, but... Thank you, but I don't have the space for it in my inventory now. So they, they will bring the stuff to you, and there is a way to communicate to them what you need. We'll see about that. Okay, so let's... Cook one paper. Cure the other. Have some more water. Mm. All right. One more wasted battery. And now let's finally see. Okay, I can create the fabricator module and within one more plastic ingot and one more wiring kit, I will be able to craft the other one. So let's do that.
This is familiar Altera design. Okay, so in here, this is a cargo module, apparently. Two lockers, not very spacious though. We have labels. Okay, it could be worse, but I hope for something better. This one needs power apparently to even have the lighting on. It's a fabricator. Okay, let's connect it. First, let's see how that works. Let's try to connect those. Is it like this? Do I need some special kind of action? Oh yeah. It's quite straightforward. So now I can leave the console and I can also disconnect the modules. I can leave the console and roam throughout this thing like I could in the Cyclops submarine. Okay, so let's connect the other one. I like this. I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. That's comprehension. uploaded to PDA. Let's see the other modules. The other module. It's quite odd that it won't level up. And you need to... View this in a weird way. But it adds some nice depth to the gameplay. Okay, so... This is exactly like a Virgil from the movie Core. The multi-module that was Terra not device, but this is apparently a submarine which you can inject, in which you can inject the modules and you can use them independently for various purposes. And here as I've seen from some videos, although I didn't want to see too much, you can recombine them. We'll see how that goes. So I can pilot this independently. If that's new, what happens if I so I can disconnect that easily. Cool. That's an easier way to do the recombining. And I can enter it from behind. And I'm not sure if I even need this fabricator module with me at this point. I mean, I'm not gonna establish a remote base anytime soon. And I think this is exactly what it's used for. But I haven't seen many. What did you bring me? Oh, you brought me Creepine Seed. But I don't need, don't need that. So, 
let's take it anyways. Let's craft some, I don't know, silicon rubber. Welcome aboard, Captain. Nah, I crafted lubricant. Never mind, I'm probably gonna need that as well at some point. It's time to do some more crafting here. And since I have some lithium left, I cannot build reinforcements and expand this base further. That's the first next thing I'm gonna do. I like to move the windows a bit first to see the view in different directions. So this view is also nice. I don't know if there is any single piece of this multi-purpose room that I want to left without the windows, but I simply have to. Okay, we'll leave this one so I can build my reinforcement. Here. There's nothing too interesting looking out through this window. Okay, we'll leave this. So or perhaps no, let's leave it like that. We'll create one more window over there. Now I can rebuild my fabric here. two quarts behind just in case has some symmetry to it, so it's okay. Good. Do we have any wall decorations? Nothing too useful. Let's see the battery charger. I even can craft that and I have many wasted batteries already, so let's not waste any more copper wire wiring kit I remember if I remember correctly I have one more wiring kit somewhere yeah One. 
more than four. Four of them that need the charging. All right, so we don't yet have these materials. Let's check the reactor. I mean, now that I've built reinforcements, I can build some more glass compartments. And that's always nice to have. And I don't have any more glass. Let's check the reactor. One more fish, which is gonna be spent very soon. Come here. You two, you two. That's okay for now, I think. Not sure. It's weird how um, this part of the base has the power even though it's completely disconnected from the reactor chamber. I guess I could build. Thank you. It's like they know what I need. the first aid kit fabricator no there is nothing like that in my blueprints more glass let's lay out the windows in the similar fashion here and yeah I don't have any more glass I desperately need to sort the things out if that's even possible titanium I'm gonna need that soon let's place all the titanium on one side and quartz and some other common stuff Corals, for example. And we'll place everything else on the other side. I don't need 
need this to waste my space, especially since I have them planted outside. Okay, so I've brought some order to this place. And now let's investigate. Need more water. Bring this medical kit with me. some of that here to water at least to cure peepers and metal kit, medical kit it would be nice if I could bring more batteries welcome aboard captain I also don't need this as much anymore These batteries are half empty still. Okay, until they reach the full charge. What's this? Three ply sample. No, thank you. I mean, I could use that for more fiber mesh at some point. outcrop right in front of my nose and more of them well this is embarrassing okay apparently there's a cave under my base there's a whole tunnel network here there's a PDA here Terra misplaces one kilometer capital ship over that would be nice. I mean that would be interesting to read. About the familiar wreckage. As soon as I pillage this place completely. No wonder there are so many sea monkeys here. They have a nest right under my base. And it's quite convenient. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. That's not an issue. Oxygen. The 
that's just what I needed, thank you. So they like me now. some time to get to know me but now they like me so the architect artifact I already visited it but yeah I think I did but back then I didn't even know what that was visit it now if possible but it's not in this cave apparently however there is quartz in this cave and more of this exploding fish Definitely. Nutrient block. Okay, some redundant blueprint that I have already picked up. Nothing too new here. Except for that alien artifact. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. It's definitely in this cave, I think. No, thank you. is more than just an artifact. It will help me follow the traces my people left on this planet. I'm glad it could help. I know you would still prefer me to have a corporeal form of my own. Well, yes. If you continue searching, I may regain some of my connection to the network, piece by piece. Okay, so Recyclotron. Something new, we'll see about that. At least now we have something to give us direction, directions and goals. I started hating wandering around aimlessly, but I guess that's always what the first experience in Subnautica game looks like. One more PDA. Warning. 
30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Scientific endeavors are accomplished much more smoothly this way. There's more to life than research, Alan. I can't lie. Work would go faster if I could read my colleagues' minds, but thoughts are private, and people have their own inner lives. People change and need space to think. Space helps you think. I find that being separated from my network is very quiet. What, what do you mean by quiet? Imagine a thousand strings each playing its own range of notes, none louder than the others. Each one builds harmony, a continuous thrum in the background of existence. I am now a lone string in search of familiar harmonies. I'll help you find them. Okay, so these guys are like Protoss from StarCraft, which are connected to the column and can communicate to each other telepathically over long distances but he doesn't understand why the humans do not share the similar traits not sure if that would be cool calorie intake recommended on the reactor it will hold out for some time and now let's expand this base a bit further for a bit I mean, I could do this. I will do that. Exactly that. Let's make an X pattern. leisure room right there welcome aboard captain
Oops. Okay. Few reinforcements. You already have integrity restored. You have a leak. Draining systems initiated. More titanium. For now. Or not. We now have a leak here. Integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Let's go with this. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. I need water. And some more water and I need food. And I do not want to waste any cured... Keepers. We're gonna get some more fresh ones. Completely forgot that I have a thermal blade. Vital signs stabilizing. I like this music. Oh, I know what we're gonna do. I don't have enough glass to do it. So let's refill the reactor. I don't know why I doomed this particular species of fish to be my power source, but oh well. Your more people. And I'll cook some more. The water I can make right now. There's never enough glass in this game.
save that one for later. I can, however, make this room a bit more comfortable. Fred's bed, Emmanuel's bed, Jeremiah's bed. Okay, so let's go with this one. Oh no, this one is... Uh, let's use the double bed. Okay. We'll have one exit here, one exit here. Can use this place for some wall shelves. Executive desk, desk wall. Let's place a basic desk here. Some comfortable chair. I like to use the office chair behind the desk. Good. Okay, some magnetite. We haven't yet seen magnetite. That's new. Bench. Maybe in these corridors, for example, here. Here. Right, and yeah, we have recycles and oh, I'm gonna build this right away. For some odd reason, I just noticed. My V sync isn't turned off. Do I have the variable refresh rate technology? But apparently, it doesn't work in Unity, or at least not in this game. So it was tearing my display. Where was I? Oh, yeah, some more titanium, and I'm gonna build some decorations here this place was too creepy and too spooky as it was so the view is not all that bad here we have an iceberg here this nice light rays coming through it's arctic -y. just as it should be let's use these Was about to construct the recyclotron. I have an iron cube, I have more than enough titanium to do so. I know we can place one. Well, I think here. This hybrid technology allows for the recycling of natural resource components without rinsing and sorting them into bits first. And now we have way too many batteries. But that's okay. We'll need some power cells for later. Can I plant something inside? We'll see about that later. Here I could, however, I mean, why not create an aquarium here? Oh, because 
because of that table. Now, let's not crowd this room too much. We can create the jukebox here. Let's see how that thing works. The hmm. the quartz was it, right? Yeah. The jukebox lets you listen to music in your base. No one said survival couldn't be funky. What is the purpose of this device? It plays music so that I have something to listen to. What is music? I can detect certain patterns within it. Is it mathematical? An instrument of science? Does it help with your research? It does. Just not in the way you're probably thinking. Music and math are strongly related. Rhythm is math. Harmonies can be math. But music as a whole is more than that. We experience it on an emotional level. I sense it has an impact on your pulse and breathing. It makes you move differently. Humans are controlled by music. We make music and we're moved by it. Not everything is about control, Alan. Yeah. She explained it to him in the best way possible, I think. All right, there's nothing more, nothing more to create here. Let's, whew, let's get some more Quartz. Now place these two batteries. Fabrication cargo. Maybe a nutrient block is better thing to take away. A few flares, maybe. Do I have more flares? Welcome aboard, Captain. Again, that glitch. I suppose I could bring a few flares there. Even though I haven't used them, I think, ever. Okay, a few batteries with me. This place desperately needs a food. food uh, storage room or something like that. Okay, time for... Let's set up these posters. We'll re relocate them later. inside this room wouldn't be bad focus let's see what is this one is about keep calm and truck on nice what's with this one okay 
think he'll place. DC truck here. Hello there. I don't even have space here to fit this one, but focus. Okay, this one can fit here. No sky rays. Whatever. The other can fit here. Just temporarily. Here's some red shaving kit. Why not? Framed picture. Maybe here. That's a drawing. Nice. We'll read about it in a moment. Hmm. Mercury too. Okay, we'll we'll re relocate this layer once we expand this base. So let's read about. I mean, I built my chair. Why not sit in it? Let's read about some stuff that we missed in between. So Terra. Delivery stats ah, report. Geez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares, and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kinda cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Yes, they are exactly that. But we are past that stage where they stole the stuff from us. Let's see about this Altera. Aurora log. The Independent Galactic News Intergalactic Perspective. Contca contact has been lost with the Aurora some 18 months into the, its journey. To install a phase gate in the Ariadne arm, report inside sources. Altera launched the Aurora too much fanfare almost two years ago and recently announced that the ship had arrived in the destination solar system. The Aurora has reportedly now missed more than one routine check-in. I wonder why. Asked for a comment, a spokesperson for Altera said communication with the ships outside of the phase gate, gate network can take weeks or months in ordinary circumstances and it's commonly interrupted. The Aurora was in a good shape and ahead of schedule. The last time they checked in, we have no reason to think anything has changed, really. Nonetheless, our sources emphasized that Altera cannot yet explain the loss of contact, and given the exceptional value of the ship and its mission, they are taking every possible measure to re-establish the contact. Shareholders will be watching closely. That ship has sailed. Keen readers will remember, however, that Altera's network of directors have a history of leaking scare stories uh, like this to the press, only for the transgov to rebound with the positive news against the odds. Directors' shareholdings and dealings are of course not public information. No, this story is very much real. Oh, look, I can view this drawing more closely it's cute i like them the research okay not yet okay so let's read about penguins i mean 
first let's see about this architect attack well, architect storage media while we, while we have evolved beyond physical attachment uh, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media altered and evolved over the time to serve the inhabitants needs while it is possible to transfer between the media at will there is some comfort and prestige in improving a body over time we have settled on a popular format for these media that there are exceptions this heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies provides good mobility easy adaptation and easy to fix in case of disaster we can back up our data patterns to a sectionary site for later retrieval storage in this fashion is safe provided consistent power supply so it's talking about that cube from which the alien escaped and entered our body however unique perspectives and traits which are arose from interplay with arose sorry arose from interplay with the original medium are lost it's like a factory reset it is recommended individual individuals to be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible such hollow vessels may be fast grown from seed using pre-specialized blueprints and materials while it is technically possible for an individual to copy their data in order to duplicate themselves ad infinitum such behavior is considered beyond rude and any self respecting architect will resolve such a circumstance by immediately deleting themselves so these guys have a high moral compass this artifact's function is poorly understood okay we will read about the oh no we haven't read about the obelisk this artifact's function is poorly understood but scans indicate it is generating a strong electromagnetic field some hypothesized function energy transfer device geomagnetic scientific instrument communication network node perhaps this third one is the most likely case water analysis station this apparent research device seems to build seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of the water samples possible applications testing for levels of carobacterium in the water of course spectroscopic analy analysis experimental application of light heat or chemical compounds via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber too much tech stuff and i wanted to read about fauna the okay the penguin is Obviously not a carnival oh, um, herbivore since it ate my peeper. Penguin, bird-like creature, hunts small fish, fish below the water. Huddles in packs on the ice above. Consumes small prey fish and regurgitates, regurgitates them for the its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak can tear chunks of tear chunks of aggressors and prey alike. Huddles in packs on the surface for protection against the cold. Less cuddly than they look. Okay, brine wing, nothing too special. Brute shark, a common shark like predator with low intelligence. Its relatively stream, streamlined body enables fast, fast navigation over, of tight spaces. Yellow turquoise coloration provides camouflage in shallow waters. Slow moving, tambushes small fish from above. Minor threat, yeah, it's apparently a minor threat. Squid shark, a leviathan. Oh, okay, this is a leviathan class predator. At the smaller end of okay, at the smaller end of scale, so it's not as big as they get. With complex squid-like adaptations, which allow it to hunt wide range of prey. Expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet propulsion or terrifying bursts of speed. An internal jaw can be extended and clamped down around the small prey 
dragging them inside a mouth hole. Two blue electrified tentacles drag beneath its body. Yeah, I thought I saw some electric effects when I swimmed too close to it. Two blue electrified tentacles drag beneath its body used to perform hit and run attacks on a larger, slower target, subduing them over time. Avoid? Yeah, I'm gonna avoid them. Symbiote. Yeah, that's a uh, biter equivalent from the Subnautica. Okay, that's enough of reading. More glass. More glass. Titanium too. We've spent a lot of it. More copper, I guess. More water. I have to find the quartz. Well, I got some. But I ended up getting everything else instead. Apparently there's a lot of quartz in the kelp areas. So I'm gonna look for, for it there. This is a mix of grassy plateaus and kelp forests from Subnautica. Too much quartz. Oxygen. In the grass. yet scan that other creature since it's so close to the surface maybe it's not that dangerous I'll try to do that in a moment hope it doesn't one shot you that would be incredibly stupid let's see but it's fast Suckers. Okay, crypto suckers. I hope that's the pronunciation. It still can't catch you if you have a sea glide. And it is far less dangerous, apparently, than the 
Squid Shark. Maybe this is, is a Stalker equivalent or something. Not that every creature in this game needs to have an equivalent. I'm just trying to... Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Just trying to sort things out inside my head. As you can see, there's a lot of mess there already. Oxygen. Welcome aboard, Captain. Well, that's quite enough of glass to start some projects. The first one being this corridor. This makes more sense now. Some more benches here would be quite nice. For those of you who watch my videos, you know there isn't a single glass corridor. I mean, there is. Most of them are filled with benches. I mean, decorated. And why not? It's like it was made for glass corridors. So, okay, we have one of these glass corridors. At this point, I'm not gonna build a second one, though maybe I should, but this glass hunting is quite troublesome here in this below zero. There has to be some better way of doing it, and I intend on finding out what is the way. got a, a bit more glass I could finish the other corridor get enough here
starting to like them very much. Oxygen. As a weapon, maybe. There's some cave here, so we'll go deposit. Nice. I think this game like Subnautica, but apparently there are some different things that, that should, I should explore. Especially the land. if I can plant it on the inside of my base. On the ins inside of my base. It's okay, I have never ventured to this direction from the starting area. Calorie intake recommended. And apparently there is a lot more a lot more of resources there. So... I'm gonna venture there more frequently. enough and that's all the gold we'll ever need I think but it's okay can compress more of this silver into wiring kits now let's see if I can plant this no this is just for eating, okay. Well. Vital signs stabilizing. I mean I maybe could have planted it outside, but I don't I don't need that outside. I need 
the inside. More glass corridors. say you should place your lights towards your base thank you Like I've never played this game before, what's wrong with me? Okay, this makes more sense. Intake recommended. Wrong direction again. Okay, looks nice. poster that I haven't yet hanged anywhere shall remain there for the time being and now let's unload everything else oh yeah the food Vital signs stabilizing. a builder outside my base so I'll keep it here we're going on an adventure
there is a food and water in the truck. Everything is prepared. The morning. is about to come so let's take a break and we'll go I guess to that pilot's known last position next so stay tuned subscribe if you like this video hit that like button and I'll see you see you guys in the next episode thank you